Almost forgot about those suckers. Well, folks, you saw the screen. Today we're assembling the Full Metal Panic RK92 Savage by Good Smile Company. The same people responsible for, I believe, Nendoroids or something like that? Don't quote me on that. I'm not an Nendoroid person. But the reason I show you the box like this is because I already have the parts in front of me. Not that you can see them just yet, but give me one second Monday. Where's my light? There we go. Oh my god, that is some flipping bright light there. Ooh. That's how you know this model is a good one. So, we have all the parts ready. I went ahead and did a little bit of painting. So I know everything that I'm working with. Let's get started, shall we? Not before. As always, if the music is too loud, give me a shout and I will adjust it for you. Last thing I want anyone doing is uh, going deaf. So just give me a shout if the music's a little bit too up there in terms of volume and I'll fix that for you. Okay, so where do you start, friend? Over here, probably. Okay. Weird way to address this particular instruction manual, but what can we do, right? I require my clippers and a certain other important tool. Ah, much better. There we are, much better. Okay. Let's get snippity clipping, shall we? A30 and uh, actually A30, A20, and A31. That's a lot of parts. Excuse me. I'm also going to show this off for a moment just as soon as I have this last piece out. Just in case anyone can't tell, this has been colored, specially painted. A little bit of a military special, if you will, at the behest of a particular friend of mine. So this is going to be an interesting build tonight. There we go, just like that. And I'm assuming this is the top of the head in some variety. There we are, just paint over that a little bit. A little bit of a patch fix. These pieces have seen some combat already. <laughs> I joke, of course, I kid. Anywho. <clears throat> A36. Come on, friend, if you wouldn't mind. Thank you. Pair of C9s. Of course, you got to send me off to another sheet to get something. Oh. This is going to be fun.
Good. And now, will I have the memory to do so? Because <clears throat> I apparently forgot to do this over the last couple days while I was painting it. Because I am a dumb dundy head. We're going to set that aside as well to let it dry, and we're just going to move on with the rest of it. All told, however, the head is going to be a very simple beast. So instead, I'm going to move on to something a little bit different. C2, eh? C2. Oh, excuse me. Whew, loads and loads of parts away. My clippers decided to pull a runaway on me. Don't do that. You might stab me, and I don't want that. That'd be something to show up in the hospital floor. What are you in for? Uh, I got stabbed. Who did it? With what? Uh, I did. Accidentally. With a pair of nippers. Are you kidding me? Oh, jeez, man. There. Just like that, the way that's supposed to look. Twenty-four and twenty-three. We're gonna have to do this one at a time. Excuse me, my goodness, that was gross. So then I just repeat the same thing on the other side, and we have a completed upper torso. Strange as that's going to look for a little while, but that is the way that it is, so... Oh well. It's just a little bit weird. So we kind of smush this together like so, right in like that. We take our other bit and we go in like that bang there's our torso b15 and b14 of course would be the two odd looking parts not like the rest of these aren't odd looking but whatever you know what i mean I don't gotta explain anything I have to say. Unless I start saying something really nasty, in which case, yeah, I'd better start explaining. 
But that is not what we're here to do today. Or ever. Okay, I see how you work now. There we go. So if you see in there, the part the part that we just assembled goes right in the slots here. There's two little pegs on the sides that just fit boom and boom with the other finger. So it comes out looking a little bit like that. Now we take this side, which just fits over around the rest of this somehow I said somehow oh wait that's that would be how I have it upside down of course I'm dumb tonight what you gonna do I'm a big dumb hoo hoo there we are good ah uh -huh. So, there's an interesting thing to note also. If I flip this over, the bulk of the inner chest cavity is um, completely hollow. And we're going to be addressing that soon. Oh, I was also supposed to... Uh, <laughs> ah, crap. I might have to find a way to pry this guy open soon because I missed something. Because this wouldn't be me if I didn't miss something, would it? Well... You, friend, I'm going to need you to pop open a little bit there. Thank you. There we are. Flip that over. There we go. Now, we actually have where the pelvis is going to insert, which is the smart, the important part there. Otherwise, this guy doesn't actually stand up on his own. I'm smart. S-M-R-T. I am so smart. <laughs> oh, jeez. I really am too dumb sometimes. Twist and release. 
32, and no, that's 37. This is 32. Hi. There we go. And on the back, because I colored this specifically for this purpose, C5. That part. <laughs> now, this goes like so toward the front of the unit. Bang. There's our torso and pelvis attached. And soon I'm going to have the head put together as well. That should be dried by now. So there's our head, but it's not quite done yet, because I still have one more part to attach, and I need to do a bit of trimming right about there, so that this can then go, bang, <laughs> and that just goes kerplop on the top, ha-ha. So we have head, torso, and pelvis accomplished. Time to get working on the rest of them. Whip it open, because we got to start working on them legs. Give me one moment here. Very nice, very nice. Now, A22, say, huh? A22. Which is a long tube. Oh, okay. You're showing me how to put the whole thing together from the foot up. Okay. Makes a bit of sense, I suppose. D5. Uh, 
A2. Either one works, really, I guess. So let's just pick one. And then A21. I guess I wasn't done with this sheet after all. Oh. Thank you. So there's that. Now we need to see C C C C C C C three. Mm, hang on. No. The there. And then that just goes right in like so. Maybe. There we go. Very stiff legs. I gotta give it that. It's very stiff joints. C twenty nine, seventeen, and thirty one. A eh? Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, you're supposed to be like that. Okay. I'll be right back. I'm going to go find a uh, pair of pliers or something. Thankfully, that wasn't so hard to find. Now, Mr. Part, you're not going to be arguing with me any further. There you go. Just what you're supposed to be doing. Thank you. Maybe it would help if I actually had the part that goes together with this thing. Because surprise, surprise. I got the wrong one. 29 and 31, not 29 and 32, genius. You botched it yourself. There we go. Now it fits together a lot better. Because I'm not being a horrendous dumb. Jesus. Just decide not to flop off the desk, please. Thank you. Ugh. Ugh. C twenty one and nineteen. Let's hope I can not. I can manage to not mess that one up. Now I need C11 and C13.
Okay. Sorry for the delay there, folks. Hope you're all enjoying this. Okay, where's my... 13... Okay. Right? Nope, you go all the way down. Okay. Just like that. supposed to go off to one side, so that's the way we're going to keep you. All right. A15. And then 826. Whoa. Not bad. And then B1 and B3. Where's B? Right here. Finally. There's a leg almost completed. A twenty three. Okay. Are you kidding me? Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Well, there's one wobbly ass leg done. So we'll put that back here with him and then get cracking on the next one. In exactly one moment. Okay, back to work, as the saying goes. Excuse me, my goodness. Okay. <sighs> All right.
There we are. <sighs> Eighteen and twenty. Excuse me, my goodness. There we go, a little bit of a patch shop. Not gonna look a hundred percent, but it'll look something all right. Um, okay. Hang on.
All righty. Come on, friend. There we are. And there's the other leg almost finished. Done. Am I serious? Apparently, I forgot what leg I was building this for. I'm dumb. Give me a second.
There we go. Now the leg is complete, and I didn't goof it up. Okay, this one just happened to come out of the shop a little bit bow-legged. There's apparently not much I can do about it, so Eggbot here is going to have to uh, keep himself a little at a little bit of an angle there. There we go. Whoa, maybe not. Oh my knee. Okay, so with that set of instructions done, we have the legs connected. Now I'm gathering, we start working on arms? Yeah. I just have to work on these two at a time. Somehow. Or just starts the whole thing over on a different page and I'm not able to figure out how or why. Anywho, A6, A7. And in between, C22.
excuse me. B2, B10. A flip it above the Yeah, that sounds about right. Somehow I turned into a uh, semi listing Wolverine. What's up, flip it above the bub? Sometimes I don't know where the, half the stuff that comes out of my own head comes from. Because even for me, that was a weird one. There's my nippers. Get that little bit of a snip and a little bit of a snip. Excuse you? Where do you think you get off, friend? Okay, hold on. Okay. Why must you keep fighting me? And then B7. <laughs> well, that was fun. At least the whole thing didn't fall apart. <laughs> Too bad it kind of feels like some of these parts don't really want to fit together that well. With a little bit of excessive external pressure.
There we go. Oh, wait a minute. Yet another instance of one of these things does not go there. Excuse me again. Don't you even dare, friendo. Okay. There we go. I think we got the shoulder part now. Yeah, I'd say so. Whew. A8. And 9 and C22. Oh, I see what's happening here. We're assembling two completely separate shoulder units in sequence. Makes a bit of sense, I suppose. That way the arms don't come into too much difficulty. Or offer too much difficulty, I should say. for the other A1 part.
Oh, for Pete's sake. Oh. Good thing you were dark green against the beige bed against the beige carpet. There. Excuse me. Okay, so there's our two shoulder units. Flip the paper over and get started working on the arms. Ooh. Oh, excuse me for a second. Oh, there we go. Need a good stretch. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Excuse me, okay. C six, twenty six, and twenty eight. This time we make sure we get the right pieces, otherwise I goof it again, and I don't want to do that. I don't think anyone wants me doing that one again. And 26, which he is right here. Twenty-six.
Huh. So once again, we're handling both limbs basically simultaneously. All right, I can work with that. Interesting decision. Excuse me, my goodness. Ha ha. B9 and B8. Dude, really?
Hmm. Something about this ain't seeming very right. Okay, that makes a bit more sense now. <coughs> Sorry about that. Now that I have you on a bit more stable ground, friend. Ugh, excuse me. Thank you. 
There we go. can have two separate hammers and I didn't even realize. <laughs> Looks like there's no gun for this guy. He's going melee only. I'll still assemble the gun anyways just because, but still. Excuse me. So if I'm seeing this right, yeah, one sledgehammer and Yep, hang on. There we go. One giant size mallet. 
Oops, didn't mean to drop you. Whoops, a daisy. So yeah, I'm going to go with both gun hands for this one. Just because I want to see him holding both weapons. Come on. Disengage, will you? Thank you. There we go. Very nice. Now, we pop you into here. Slot that in there. And then, hammer one. <laughs> and hammer two. Get ready for a blitz and kick, kiddos. <laughs> Now, let's quickly put the gun together, because why the heck not? Very nice. Now, was there anything in here that I was supposed to use but didn't? Because there are a few unused parts here that I did not use. Let's see. A3s. Were the A3s ever supposed to be used? Let's scour the book and find out. Yes, they were. On the legs. Of course they were. That explains a lot. Okay. Sorry, buddy. I'm going to have to remove your legs again because I <laughs> forgot to put something in there that had to go in there. So just uh, bear with me for a second. You're going to be legless for about another five seconds, but I'll have that remedied in no time flat, I promise. <laughs> Didn't think this was going to take so long, but hey, when you don't seem to know what the heck you're doing, yeah, that makes a lot of sense, actually. Okay. That's what happens when you don't pay attention. You goof it up. Excuse me. There we go. And then one of these guys. Like so.
See, this is what it was supposed to look like. It was supposed to have a little attachment on here to guard the pivot, and then that little thing on the top. So now this goes back in here. There we go. Now it looks a little, a little bit more polished. And we're going to have the other side done in about uh, lickety split flash. If I can keep the kneecap from falling off. Dude, don't go the Skyrim way, okay? I know that joke's been done to death, but for Pete's sake, let's not do the Skyrim method. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
I'm going to have to cement these hands together because they don't want to stay together at all. I'll bet they wouldn't even stay together if they were holding the gun. You already need to hunch over so far, buddy. Can you just stay standing up straight, please? It's one. That's two. There we go. This one's going to be held a position, but I'm going to make it happen. So, with only four parts remaining, two souls and two hands, the RK92 Savage is ready. with one sledgehammer and one giant mallet and looking quite cross-legged. But that's that for that. So one more time, very carefully, because this guy is very finicky. RK92 Savage. A bit of a savage jerk to put together, but still. That mallet looks like it came straight from Harley Quinn. Courtesy of the Joker's paint job. But still. That is it for tonight. I'm done. I'm tired. I'm done. I don't think I'm going to put another one of these together unless someone sends me one, but that's a different story for a different day. Anywho, I might give myself a couple days to recover my fingers, but afterwards we will figure out which one of this or this will be on the docket next. But that's, again, for another day. Thus, thank you for watching. A minute and 45, sorry, an hour and 45 minutes later, we are done. Signing off. Have a good one, folks.